Hello and welcome to Xinhua Live. The Chinese New Year has just passed. Uh, factories across China usually and traditionally shut down for a couple of weeks after the Chinese Spring Festival. But things are different as we enter the third year of the pandemic. Last year, to prevent the resurgence of COVID-19, China encouraged people to stay put over the holidays and many enterprises continue production over the holidays. So how things are going this year? And we are now in Zhongshan of South China's Guangdong province. And we're gonna see factory here, how they are stabilized production supply chain among the pandemic. And joining us today is Channing Cao. He is a senior director of Plants North America. Hi, Channing. Hi. Um, so where are we now? We actually we are in the Glance refrigerator factory. Mm -hmm. So I think it's huge and it's already in full capacity of production, right? Yes, of course. So give us a brief introduction of the uh, Glance. So Glance actually is uh, the uh, one of the largest uh, global leading hot appliances providers, and. Uh, we provide the uh, end consumer with uh, comprehensive uh, categories like uh, microwave, refrigerators, uh, toast oven, mm -hmm. uh, washing machine, dishwashers, um, the, that covers the small kitchen appliances as well as the large appliances. Yeah, I know Glance is very famous for micro ovens. Mm -hmm. um, but today we are in the refrigerator department and we see a lot of fridges here and they have different colors and they are modern and they are old schools yeah. could you give us a little bit on, on that actually we like develop the the full uh, retro style uh, finish design mm -hmm. in the market and uh, that drives a lot of uh, huge demand in north america mm -hmm. and uh, um, the first idea why we came up with this uh, such kind of ideas is because uh, we found Glance can provide uh, a niche market to uh, drive the the demand a more like a modern and the retro style finish mm -hmm. to uh, and a consumer with affordable pricing. I just noticed there's something different and um, something. What is this refrigerator? Oh, uh, so this is a cosmetic uh, retro fridges. So, Cosmetics. Yes, it it is. So once you open the mirror, um, um, you know, every ladies, they, they actually get, get up in the morning, they open their fridges to make up. Mm -hmm. And uh, in in interior of the fridges, you can put a lot of uh, like a mask, like yeah. uh, some of the cosmetic stuff. Yeah, I know. Sometimes I put my lotion in the refrigerator because the, the temperature required. Yes. And sometimes if you mess up with some food, the mm. flavor may like... Yeah, that's <laughs> right. embarrassing. Yeah. So, so how the um, global market reaction for like refrigerator like this? Um, most of the, our glance consumers, they actually see these uh, retro style fridges, this the, the action is like, wow, it's really cool. It's yeah. uh, uh, first day in the market mm -hmm. and uh, the design is uh, very attract attractive yeah. um, and uh, with great value. So mm -hmm. a lot of uh, end consumers, they actually will buy as a second fridge in the home wow. to put in the like living room and uh, even like the garage. That's a good choice. If I have a like, bigger home, I will buy this one as well. Yeah, of course. <laughs> so, um, you, as we mentioned before, you are the senior manager of the Glass of um, North America. Yeah. So, as we know, many Chinese companies and brands, they are shining on the global market in recent years. Mm -hmm. So, what's your story on your, like, global adventures? Uh, Glance, it's um, not like uh, the other uh, uh, manufacturer in China. We mm -hmm. actually we develop most of the and we export most of the products under Glance branded products. And uh, the proportion of Glance brand has been over 50% over year, year and year. Wow. So like last year, the proportion of the 
glands planted uh, outside of the uh, glands, the oversea glands uh, fridges is more than 60 percent. Wow. Yeah. So people are always saying like um, old school is back to the market. Could you show us why um, these old schools are so popular among some young people and like some some foreign in, very popular in the foreign market? Um, I do believe first of the reason is uh, because of the attractive design. Mm -hmm. uh, this is not like the uh, traditional retro fridges. Mm -hmm. We have the you know retro style of the top cover. Yeah. And uh, uh, the fridges that comes with uh, low noise mm -hmm. and uh, energy saving for the end consumer. So um, the, I think the second reason is because of the competitive uh, retail pricing. Mm -hmm. So we can provide because we are the one of the leading uh, fridges uh, manufacturing in China, mm -hmm. we can provide a more competitive uh, costing to the end consumer. So mm -hmm. uh, the end consumer, they can buy the fridge very easy and yeah. uh, with a reasonable uh, price. I heard some orders and some exports are doubled or even tripled during the pandemic, right? Mm -hmm. Because people have more time staying at home and maybe they do some cookings. Yeah. It is actually so. Uh, glass fridges, uh, at the at the beginning of the epidemic, the glass fridges is uh, regarded as a uh, essential product. Yeah. So the consumer they need the product to store the food, and they also need the microwave to cook the food. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, um, so in back in 2020, the demand of the fridges and microwave has been uh, you know uh, uh, right raised uh, uh, significantly uh, compared with uh, uh, post uh, pre uh, covid so we are now at the um, production line of the refrigerators yeah and people are assembling and i believe assembling the refrigerators mm -hmm. so um Actually, it is not my first time here. I've been covered a story of how Chinese companies um, battle to con resume production since the pandemic in 2020. Mm -hmm. And so, so how people here right now, as we are still facing the pandemic, how people take prevention measures to uh, keep away from the pandemic? Mm -hmm. Is there any measures? Yes, of course. Uh, so every workers. Uh, before they go to work, they will have their uh, manual. Uh, you know, they have to check their uh, temperature yeah. and uh, wear the mask and uh, these infections, as well as so. You know, gathering is not allowed in in, in the daily work. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, I remember at that time since the pandemic uh, just happened in 2020. And the canteen was temporarily closed and the food was delivered on site yeah. in this workshop. Mm -hmm. And so but right now people are, are okay to go to the restaurant, but also must to follow the strict uh, prevention measures, right? Yes, yes, exactly. So uh, right now almost uh, the uh, daily activity has been resumed and uh, to as long as you follow the pandemic uh, restrictions mm -hmm. uh, we can you know assure that the production is going well so this area is for the assem assembly yes so this area is, is for the door assembly so the bridges uh, that come from the beginning of the line mm -hmm. uh, with uh, cabinets and the walkers right here to install the upper and the low door assembling to the fridges to make sure uh, the door is uh, installed well and uh, uh, you know uh, with, with the best quality so this refrigerator is gonna sell uh, domestically or overseas so this fridge is uh, is sold to North American. North American. Yeah.
So would you like to talk more about the orders you see this year and what's your outlook for this year? Uh, so uh, the orders in first quarter we have received from most of the customers. Um, we expect to achieve around uh, 30% uh, growth. Year on year. Year on year. Wow. So um, like uh, those products like uh, microwaves, like um, refrigerators, mm -hmm. uh, dishwashers, uh, those products will deliver most of, majority of the growth. Do you think like the pandemic also um, accelerate the uh, the search or there's the search for the for the customers their their needs or their uh, needs for the small home appliances? Yes, I do believe mm -hmm. because uh, you know um, um, once the pandemic hits, mm -hmm. actually. Most of the consumers, they are very, you know, uh, worried about uh, how their daily work is going to be uh, because you can't go out to uh, buy some food and uh, because of some of the uh, strict uh, restriction policy has been carried out in some of the countries. Mm -hmm. So uh, the fridges actually is the one of the goods uh, product to uh, for the consumer to purchase because uh, it will uh, provide the larger space for the end consumer to store the food, the, the food. and uh, as well. So um, the the end consumer they actually they will do most of the cooking at home. Yeah. So they will use the fridges more often than before. Yeah. So I think because of this is assembling line, so we barely see many, we didn't expect it. So I was expecting like more workers along the line, but it's already fully uh, half automatically, right? Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So over decades, Glance has invested a lot of equipment and the capital into the automatic production line. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're still in the middle to are uh, changed the you know the traditional uh, production into like uh, the the half automatic and the finally the final stage will be the fully automatic production. Wow! Because I heard you are doing a smart factory plan and you already have some auto fully automatic uh, production line here. Yeah. Workers here, you see stuff along the production line. So, are they just coming back from their home, or they just stay here like during the festival? Uh, most of the workers, they are just come back from home, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, we just had a, a week um, holiday off for Chinese New Year mm -hmm. uh, because um, you know most of the workers they actually they come from outside of Guangdong province. So uh, during the whole year, they have very few chance to uh, go back home. Mm -hmm. So um, the Chinese New Year is uh, a great, you know, chance and uh, opportunity for them to gather with the family and uh, to celebrate uh, the whole year. Do they need to do the um, COVID testing before return to work? Yes. So every work is the actually uh, came back to factory is required to have the COVID test and uh, so every workers with uh, their um, negative test results mm -hmm. will be uh, acceptable allowed will be allowed to produce the product in the in a line yeah as we can see like every workers here wear their masks 
and they have their temperature checks before they go to work yeah. and it's it's already become a routine and a daily for yeah. their ordinary work yeah. to ensure the safety of themselves and the production mm -hmm. that's right absolutely right yeah so we are now entering the retro area yeah. Actually, I, I noticed that some the retro style refrigerators they have some really bold colors like the the the, the red one or yeah. the retro yellow or retro green things. Yes, yes. We do have the retro uh, fridges with like uh, red, black, uh, blue, mm -hmm. um, cream, mm -hmm. and uh, like uh, pink. So. Right now, the best, the top two best seller color is is red and black. Red. Yes. Wow. It's really hard to find um, really modern refrigerators. Like usually, the concept or the image of the refrigerator is like the gray or yeah. the metal thing. Yeah. So imagine we once you are cooking the food in the kitchen, uh, you. All of the fridges, all of the appliances is either black or stainless or mm -hmm. either white. Yeah. So you really need a, a retro, you know, a, a colorful color like red and black to mm -hmm. light up your, you know, the spice of the kitchen. Yeah, it really stands out. Yeah. yeah we can see these are the refrigerator we just saw here. Yeah. So this, these are all gonna go for the uh, global market. Yeah. So like uh, those fridges is uh, like two two point one two dollar fridges. Mm -hmm. uh, well, uh, ship to uh, Walmart, Target, and uh, Home Depot. Wow. In US. We are now at one of Plant's smart factory. Actually, this is not my first time here. Back in February 2020, I was sent here to cover the story of the factories resuming production amid the pandemic. And it took a series of strict prevention measures, including temperature checks at least twice a day and washing hands six times a day. At that time, to deal with the shortage of wine waters, the company even mobilized more than 160 managers to work on the production line. Actually, here at the Glass Factory, they have over 20,000 employees and they basically made everything. We just saw the refrigerators and all kinds of household appliances, such as air conditioner dishwashers and you name it they probably make it right here so what we are seeing now is the um, smart factory here and it is fully automatically it has four smart production lines here and each of them equipped with different mechanical arms. As we can see, these yellow mechanical arms are doing some transforming job here. And they are in charge of manufacturing, including material input, processing, and assembly. Actually, here is a um, data I can show you like on average a product rolls off the assembly line every 6.7 seconds so every 6.7 seconds it can assemble a product and the products we are seeing now I was told it's the um, cavity it's the inner space of the uh, microwave ovens the interior of the microwave We know Glance is famous for its microwave ovens and it also have the um, world's first microwave in outer space. 
So joining us here is the uh, is Mr. Huang. He is the in charge of this area. Hey, Huang Xiangyong, you hello. Uh, we are now in this area. Where are we located? This is our Zhongshan 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 那么我们这里大概我们看到了有很多这种自动化的一个机械哈，那么也有一些需要一些工人和人工辅助的是吗？大概有多少人的员工在这里呢？啊、呃，这个车间大概现在有三十人左右，啊、呃，就有总共有六条生产线。嗯、呃，那么呃 ，they have like uh thirty workers here, um, with the six production line. 呃，那我们可以一起走一下看一下，那这些员工他们的日常的主要职责是什么呢？啊、呃，这个员工主要的就是一些辅助辅助类的工作，啊、呃，例如啊、呃、上料下料这样的一个辅助性的工作，呃，然后全程的生产都是我们的自动化完成，不需要人工干预。So basically, the workers here they just need to upload and unload these materials right here, and so they are and. After that, all the things can do by the machines. 那我们知道，其实，呃，现如今咱们这个工的这个这一次每年春节都会放假嘛。那么今年咱们春节这个返工率以及员工的一个呃预防的疫情措施有哪些？能介绍一下吗？啊，这个我们这次假期呢，在放假之前和还有假期结束，我们都统一组织了一次的核酸检测。还有所有的人员进场出场，都会那个测体温，还有全程佩戴口罩。Actually, Mr. Huang just mentioned that uh, uh, before the Chinese New Year, like before the workers return home, they arranged a a testing before they left, and after they come back from home, like no matter in the in Guangdong Province or Outside the Guangdong Province, they also requires another test. If you test negative, you are allowed to come back to work, and you also need to have your temperature checked every day, and to keep a social distance to make sure everyone is safe here. So in this plant smart factory, we already see the rapid growth of the China's technology development, and it really shows the journey that Chinese manufacturing is taking here on the ground, all the way to the fully automatically. And I think that's all for our today's live. Thank you for joining us. Bye.